Okay, we've got um, percentages question here. So we've got some information about um, tire shop. They saw the pricing. Uh, and Dez wants to buy two Dunlap tires. Very good. I see what they've done here with the, the names. Um, without breaching copyright or getting permission, they've made some names that are very similar to famous names. Very funny, very amusing in your maths exam. So he buys two Dunlap tires. So he buys two of these. And you can't forget that you need two valves and you need to balance them as well. So work out the total. Oh, we've got to pay the VAT as well. So let's work out the total first. So the total is going to be uh, 124. That's for the two tyres. Plus one pound for the valves. Plus two pounds for the balancing. So it's a total of 127 pounds. Now we want to find out VAT at 115%. So on your calculator, you can do it quite easily. There's several ways you can do it. If you want to do it all in one go, you could just times by 1.15, and that will add on the VAT automatically for you. So that just comes out as uh, 146 pounds and five pence. You could find out 10% first, so you could say first that if you wanted to, that 10% was 12.7 and therefore 5% is £6.35. And you add on the 5% and the 10% to the original, you could do it that way. But that's all we need the one £146.05 total. If we go down, oh, let's switch on the next page. Um, ben sees that there's two tyres for sale in a different garage. He wants to compare the, compare the prices. So what is the price of these? Well, this has already got the VAT included. So we know that once you've added the 15% on, it comes to £71.30. We want to know the price before VAT, so we want to get back to 100%. Now, I find this easier to get there. In two steps. Divide by 115 first to get to 1% and then times by 100 to get up. So all you have to do is divide this by 115 which gives you 62 pence. That's 1% of the cost meaning the total cost is 62 pounds. So before VAT the price was Sixty-two pounds it was already included. And you've got to be careful of that. You weren't going down to eighty-five percent. That's what some people actually it was already there added on. So you started with one hundred and fifteen percent. There's one last bit to the questions uh, down here. It says in twenty ten the VAT is to be increased from fifteen percent to seventeen and a half percent. By what number will Ben have to multiply the old price? Well, kind of like we did here. It's, we've got to go down from 115, but instead of going back up to 100, we want to go back up to the new VAT price included, which is the 117.5. So you want to do two things. You want to divide by 115, but you also want to then times by 117.5, which builds you back up. So doing that all in one go, well, divide goes on the bottom. If we turn this into a fraction, it should be a pound sign there. Um, 115 is going to be on the bottom and 117.5 is going to be on the top. So if we then do that on our calculator, we get 1.02 Three nine one three oh four three. So that's the number you've got to multiply to turn old prices into new prices after the VAT increase. Divided by one hundred and fifteen uh, to get back to um, one percent, and then times it by one hundred seventeen point five to get up to the new price. Okay, this last bit is a little bit tricky, but I think the rest of it up to this point should have been uh, okay.